game. An activity that one engages in for amusement. Once again, people can't seem to grasp that games are designed for fun. So if one actually has fun playing a the game, then one must be a dirty, filthy sellout or an absolute idiot. Now, that's what I said on Twitter the other day. Let, let's just think about this for a second, because where is this notion that games are not for fun? Games are designed for fun. If you're having fun playing a game, that is all that matters, and that is fine. So where's the problem? What what is going on? What is going on, ladies and gentlemen? Why are we? Why is this culture, this 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 like festering culture, is is festered away and is now? I'm seeing it in a lot of places. This kind of attitude where if a game isn't the greatest game ever, if it isn't technically accurate, well, technically not crap, you know, so if it's like all the mechanics working and everything else is fine, then that's fine and the game is allowed, allowed, ladies and gentlemen, to be fun. Now there's a couple of things I want to talk about here, ladies and gentlemen. There is Battlefront and there is Fallout 4, but I'm going to start off with Fallout 4 because on our channel there is a video that Mr. Kirioff made where he rips apart Battle... Uh, it's not Battlefront, Fallout 4 for basically the state of the game, the buggy nature of the game. But we are on record, and we say time and time and time again, it is fine if you enjoy playing Fallout 4. It's still a fun game. We just laughed at it because it was a broken game, in our opinion. But it's still a fun game. It's not a bad game. It's a fun game. And this is like a message that I want to send out to people. It's fine if you enjoy playing a game, and it's fun. That is great. A game doesn't have to be a technical masterpiece or any of that for you to enjoy the game it just has to be fun and fun for you and that is all that matters so let's talk about battlefront because this is where a lot of this has been coming from i've been seeing hate on twitter i've been seeing loads of youtube videos around this people shitting all over this game and rightfully so but also it's a fun game so why are these people shitting all over the game? And on Twitter you see people talking, like, I, I, comments. I mean, hell, I've got comments here. What is this comment, right? Um, Battlefront is an overpriced pile of shit off some guy. Well, that's your opinion. It, it is expensive. I don't disagree with that. It is exp expensive. But to call it a pile of shit, don't you think that's a little bit harsh? So I think a lot of the issues with Battlefront come from the fact that it's not Battlefront, but it's called Battlefront. What this game actually is, and what a lot of people don't really seem to realise what the game is, is it's a game which is a Star Wars cinematic battle simulator. That your mother can play. And your granny, who's blind, can also play. Because it's so simple, it's so easy to play, uh, it's beyond ultra casual. But does that even matter? If the game is fun, then who gives a shit? It's like, well, if, you're enjoy if, you, if you are a Star Wars fan, and you enjoy Battlefront, and you want to be part of the assault on, on the Hoth base. You want to play as the Imperials. Well, you're going to get that with Battlefront. So it's a fun game. Why does the game have to be overly complicated? Also, look at what the, who the game is aimed at. It is aimed at casual fans, right? It's aimed at the wider Star Wars fan base. So it's not going to be some ultra-hardcore Battlefield clone or whatever, is it? No, because that game is not going to wash with that audience. You need something which is simple, which is very visual, and the graphics are insane. This is probably the best-looking game that's come out all year. And that's what you get. You get awesome sound design as well. So why are people shitting on that game? It's a fun game. The message I want you guys to come out with at the end of this video is... It doesn't matter if you enjoy playing a game, and it doesn't matter what other people say about a game. If you enjoy it, then it's fine. There are always going to be videos on YouTube, there's always going to be comments on the internet where people rip games apart for whatever reason. That doesn't mean to say the game isn't fun. A lot of these people will, will admit the game is fun, but there are these issues. We do it all the time, but we're not telling you not to play the game. It's not like, oh, don't play that game, it's shit. So I've got a lot of comments here, which I've been looking at on the channel. Now, I'm going to keep them to comments on my channel because obviously that makes more sense. So we're going to read through some of these because you get a very interesting crossover with YouTube um, or YouTubers in general where people think you're selling out because you enjoy a game. It's almost like you're not allowed to enjoy a game and I don't get where that comes from. Well, I kind of do because there was a lot of large YouTubers who went around taking the piss, taking money for brand deals and not saying they've done a brand deal. You know, we made videos on various channels, pulling them up on it and all that crap. Dickhead behavior and it shouldn't be going on. But there's a, a lasting effect from that, especially with YouTubers, and especially with... You, you can apply it to these comments that I'm going to read off now. Okay, so... 
This was on an Endless Legend video. I, this was some time ago. This was like 10 months ago. And it says, damn, this is some hardcore sellouting. Now, it's not. We didn't get paid to make videos on Endless Legend. We just enjoyed the game. So we made some videos on the game. And we enjoyed it. What is the problem? Yeah, yeah. Moving on anyway. Here's another comment. Which is actually quite relevant to what has been going on recently with the channel. Jesus fuck. Take the Overwatch dick out of your mouth and just stop it. Yes, we know you love to fuck Overwatch and praise it as your bitch. But seriously, just stop. What you're doing now is getting out of hand and just simply making you look like the bad guy here. The bad guy in what respect? I enjoy that game. I make videos on that game. Where, where, where is this thing where it's like, no, you're a sellout because hell, you're enjoying a game. Are these people jealous of the fact you're having fun playing a game? Maybe they can't play. Or are they jealous of the fact that you're just having fun in general? And they're like, oh no, this must be some sort of veiled attempt at promoting the game. So I'm going to just attack you in the comments. And it's like, well, no, it isn't. I just enjoy playing the game. So I make videos on it. Admittedly, with the Unit Lost channel, there's never really been a period where we've focused on one game over and over again. Apart from when we made videos on Civilization, I suppose you could say, and maybe to some extent XCOM. Where were the comments then? There were no comments like this. It was like, wow, you know, this is fun, this is great, whatever. It's just a really weird attitude to me, and I can't get my head around why people really feel like they need to go out of their way to tell somebody a game is shit or... Because they're having fun, they're a sellout, or the, the only reason they have... Like, I, I, actually, a comment, an argument you see quite a lot. So ignore YouTubers. Just to, just take Joe Blogs on the street. So your normal guy on the street, if he buys something and he spends his money on it, like, so if he buys Battlefront, he spends his 50 quid, he comes in and he starts playing it. He's going to go on the internet, and then he's going to be like, yeah, I really enjoy the game. And then people will be like, you only enjoy the game because you spent 50 quid on it. I see that argument a lot. It's almost as if because people have bought stuff, then for some reason they're going to be overly positive towards that game. I don't agree with that. I think in some cases, yeah, that might apply. You will get the odd one who just blindly defends anything because they just do. And also you get like crazed, rabid fanboys who do that as well. But that argument of, yeah, you've gone out and bought the game, so for some reason you're connected to the game, so you're never going to shit on that game, to me just seems totally ridiculous and can be compared to this whole thing on YouTube where it's like, oh, you're only making videos on that because you're a sellout, you've been paid to do it, or some sort of bullshit attitude like that, which is never the case. Not on our channel. It, it is on some channels, which obviously is why you do get this sort of atmosphere around YouTube, and especially YouTube, is where people do think you're some sort of filthy sellout because you enjoy playing a game. You see, the thing is, I've got news for people. There's a lot of channels out there that are built on playing one game. Look at all the Dark Souls channels. Look at all of the WoW channels. Look at all of the loads of different channels. They've played one game and built an audience through that. Do you think those guys are getting attacked? Do you think there's comments like, oh, you're a filthy sellout on the game? Probably not. It's Maybe there is. It's I don't know. It's just really weird. It's, it's almost like the joy of gaming, but the pain of having fun. I'm going to call the video that. That's awesome. So let's look at some other comments as well. Sponsored. If so, you should declare that. Well, why would this person think the video is sponsored? Well, because we were having fun in the video, so... We must have been paid to have fun because nobody actually has fun, you know, because the joy of gaming and the pain of having fun, well, that's just not going to happen. It, it, it's ludicrous. You sounded like a person who was unable to consider any criticism on the game. Diablo 3 comes to mind. A game so strongly defended by the elite that it launched the, <laughs> launched the dreadful piece of shit it turned out to be. Now again, I don't understand what this is. I sound like a person who wasn't able to consider any criticism. I'm, I'm always willing to consider criticism. In fact, some of my favourite games of all time are dodgy. <laughs> I mean, hell, I was playing Morrowind the other day, which I think is probably the best RPG I've ever played. It's a mess, really, when you think about it. Okay, it's old, but it's still a mess. And it's like, well... It, but it's fun to me, and it doesn't matter. In my opinion, that is the best RPG I've played. So I'm like, you know, it's... It's all, it's all subjective, and with people just coming in and attacking you like this, it does get a bit ridiculous sometimes, and it's like, well, how can this person not allow me to go away and have fun playing a game, and instead will come out with some outlandish response as to, like, oh, you can't consider criticism on anything because you're a sellout, because, oh, God, you're having fun, and I don't like you having fun. Games are made for fun. Play games for fun. Dear, oh, dear. But here's another comment. 
Like Endless Space, this game has zero character. It's just a power creep simulator. I really don't understand why people like this game. Now this is a bit of a different comment. This is a comment where somebody has come, out, uh, come in and, and they've commented on the game and they're like, I don't understand why you like this game. They're given some um, simple reasons, but I don't understand why people like this game. You don't have to understand why people like a game. People like stuff because they like it and they have fun. And that is the end of the tale. <laughs> and another one for Overwatch. You should buy it all day long, you fucking dirty sellout. Uh, okay. I mean, have you even watched the Overwatch coverage I've been doing? Some of it's positive, some of it's negative because I'm highlighting issues with the game, balance issues that I've, I've noticed and all kinds of stuff. So it's not like it's a positive thing. I wanted to make this video though because there is an air of... Or, or, well, it's not an air of, it's just it just is. Now, there is a climate of you're not allowed to have fun playing games and I don't get where this is coming from. I mean, I've gave some examples where I think it's coming from, but it's just like, ah, games are for fun. Play games because you enjoy playing them. I know people who play games that I think are terrible. I know people who play RuneScape. That is a game I would never play. It's the worst. Yet people have fun playing it. H1Z1, it is abysmal. Of course, these are my opinions, but there are, I know people who play it and they enjoy the game. So it doesn't really matter, guys. It doesn't matter. Just please don't go out there and go out of your way to just attack people because they like something you don't like. You always see it on the internet. I know it's the vocal minority and you get comments on Reddit and places like that where if somebody does say, oh, hey, I like this game, suddenly they get attacked and it's like you're an idiot, blah, 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 you're a casual, all this shit. Just cut it out. If you are somebody who goes around doing this, please stop doing it. Games are for fun. Look at the videos we make on Unit Lost. We make our videos because we want to provoke discussion or we want to show us having fun or something like that, okay? And even if we do make videos on a game and give an objective opinion and say, well, this game is buggy, it's got this issue. I mean, Fallout 4 is the best example. I'm just going to end the video on the Fallout 4 example. But Fallout 4 does nothing for the RPG genre. It's just Fallout 3 in a new area with slightly better graphics. It's got a little bit of a crafting system, which if you like that, then you'll like it. Me, personally, I don't. Um, and also, it's quite buggy. It's a Bethesda game, lol. But then, it, it's not a bad game. I'm just saying I don't like the game, and this is why I don't like the game. And there'll be people who agree with that, and people who will look at the videos, especially the video Kiri made, and be like, well, what the hell is this? This looks crazy. And that's why they were made. We're not saying the game is bad. If you have fun playing a game, guys, keep playing that game. I've been Stylosa, this is Unit Lost, and this has been the joy of gaming and the pain of having fun because I've just come up with the title in the middle of the video, and that is it's like a it's like a Bob Ross rev. I'll get my coat. Follow me on Twitter, guys, which is at Unit Lost Gaming. Send me some abuse over Twitter, it's always funny. And uh, I'll catch you next time. Toodaloo-daloo. Toodaloo. <laughs>